What's up traders? Steven here, your honest trading coach. And what I want you to do is take a look at the screen in front of you. What you will see is an alert that I sent out to thousands of traders last Monday talking about the pound dollar. The red zone you see is an area that I told traders the pound dollar would most likely fall from. Let's take a look at the chart now. Let's press the play button, see what actually happened here on the pound dollar. We came up into that zone and since then have dropped dramatically from it. Now the question is, how was I able to make this prediction? How did I know the market was going to fall? Well, you never know exactly what the market's going to do, but in this video, what I do want to do is show you how I point out zones like this that help me make very accurate trading decisions every single day. So if you're interested in learning how I spot these zones, I'll also go through the rest of the currency pairs that I pointed out last week and show you what I'm paying attention to for next week on different currency pairs as well using this tactic. And I'll teach you the tactic itself. If that's interesting to you. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below the video to the right hand side. Click that like button for me to help out with the YouTube algorithm and follow us over on Instagram at the trading channel for more content. I'll see you right after the intro and disclaimer to help you figure out how to spot extremely accurate trading zones. See you in a second. What's up traders, welcome back. And what you see on the screen in front of you is the Pro Trader Report that was sent out to all EAP members and all members of the Pro Trader Report itself. This was sent out on 6-8-2020, so about 11 days ago now. And we're gonna start off on the pound dollar since we were looking at that before the intro and disclaimer. Now, I'm gonna go through each and every one of these and I'm gonna to explain to you why I thought of these zones as important zones to trade from, why I thought they would be such accurate zones to place trades from and also I'm going to teach you while doing so exactly how to spot these zones yourself. And then we're going to go into what I'm expecting out of the currency market coming into next week. I'm going to show you the pairs and the areas that I'm paying attention to for possible trades and that I think will be accurate zones to trade from going into next week. I've also had tons of questions about how I actually enter the market. What's my entry reason at areas like this? So throughout the video, I'm also going to share with you an entry reason that you can use in these areas. Now, when I say use, I don't mean go out and start trading this right now. If you do, you will more than likely lose money. And here's the reason you've never back tested this. So you're not going to be confident in it working past the periods of drawdown that you inevitably will go through. You don't have a correct risk management plan right now, more than likely because of those two factors and you not being able to be consistent to the strategy, more than likely, if you go out and start trading this system, you're just going to start losing money. So what I mean by this is I'm going to share this condition. I'm going to share how to spot these zones. I'm going to share with you an entry reason. And that's when you need to take that information, go back, test it and build a full trading plan around it. But now that that is over with my little rant there, let's go ahead and get started with the pound dollar. Here on the pound dollar, I spotted this level that we're looking at on the chart right now as a possible level of resistance for this market. Now, why did I look at this as such a accurate level of resistance and an area that I really thought the market was going to push down from? There's a couple of different reasons for that. For one, after this huge leg down, this huge impulsive move down, what's the latest level of support that was broken? And what I mean by latest, I mean, if you look at this level, which level did it break first? This one right here. So we're pushing back up into that exact zone. Not only that, this zone hasn't just acted as support this one time most recently, but also acted as support multiple times in the past. With that being the case, and this being an area that the market has reacted from, multiple times in the past, I expected it to be an area the market would react from once more. It's as simple as that. So when the market gets into that area, I'm expecting a fall out of this market. And that's exactly what happened. Now let's go over the entries and let's go ahead and dive deep. Let's go ahead and get into the nuts and bolts of this whole system for an entry reason on these types of strategies on this multiple time frame looking for structure on the higher time frame I always drop down to a lower time frame i have my daily chart as my structure trading and my trend following time frame that's where i look for possible accurate zones and when i'm looking at those accurate zones i'm dropping down to a one hour time frame to look for an entry reason now an entry reason that has provided an edge over the market for me is a double top with a same color kicker is what I call it. What I mean by that, and the reason I say double top is because this is a zone of resistance. So if we're coming into resistance and I'm expecting the market to fall, I'm gonna be looking for a double top. If this was a support zone, I'd be looking for a double bottom. So simply put, a double top is a one top right here, neckline, and a retest of that first top. 
That's the simple definition of the double top that I use. And the only thing I look for other than that, we have our push up first test neckline. Second test is after this second test, I want to see a red candle on a double top. If after that second test, I get a red candle right here, then that red candle is my entry. My stop loss goes above my zone and I have a 1.4 to one reward to risk. I use one, 1 1.4 as my reward one as my risk. So that is how I specifically trade in these zones. And that's exactly what I did here on the pound dollar. We came up into our red zone. We ended up getting this double top red candle kicker right here, entered the market, pushed down, hit target quite easily. Now let's go ahead and go back over to the pro trader report and go over the rest of these trades. We'll start at the top here. The Euro Yen is a good example of when this didn't work out. Just so you know and realize these zones aren't hundred percent. Nothing is in Forex. So this is something I really want to show you because I want you to understand that you're not just going to win every single time you point out an accurate trading zone. They work for me about 65% of the time. So why was I interested though, taking it back, why was I interested in this zone right here as a possible zone of support out of the Euro Yen? See if you can spot it just looking at the chart. And I'll go back over to the Pro Trader Report while you do and let you look over this. This was exactly what I sent to traders on 6 8 2020. so have you been able to spot it yet the reason is because we have this huge leg up pushing and breaking above previous resistance levels these resistance levels is a this is a resistance level excuse me that has acted as resistance multiple times and has pushed this market around like a bully on the playground for a little kid and because of that I expected this level to become support. Now, here's one thing that you need to realize as well is that I'm not just buying the market randomly in these areas. If you're in the pro trader report, pay attention to this video because this is the way that I want you to start entering these trades. Again, back test it yourself, build a trading plan around it. But ultimately, this is one of the ways you need to be entering these trades is waiting for that double bottom green color kicker, green color candle kicker, green candle color kicker. Say that five times fast. It's actually really difficult. So you're waiting for that double bottom with a green candle kicker, and that's what you need to be testing. And at that point, that's when you're looking for possible long trades. On this specific market, when the Euro Yen got down to this level of resistance, let's drop down to the one hour chart and see what happened. Pushing back here, here was our big move up. We push above, we're pushing back down. On the one hour chart, do we have a double bottom here? No, do we have a green candle kicker? No, if we don't have a double bottom, obviously we don't have that green color candle kicker. Green candle color kicker. That's going to ruin my entire day if I can't get that right. So in that case, would we be taking a trade right here? The answer is no. So although we were wrong on our top down analysis, expecting this area to be support, we didn't lose a trade because of it. This is just when we wipe the slate clean and we ask ourselves, where's the next area that's possible for support for this pair? It was right here in this range and when the market got down to this range on the one hour chart we got nothing so the only thing i did yet again was ask myself okay well in this case what's the next area i'm looking at for possible support and so for the upcoming week it's friday right now when i'm recording this going into the weekend monday tuesday of next week this is the area i'll be looking at on the euro yen if the market gets into that area what am i going to be looking for the entry reason that we just discussed is exactly what I'll be looking for. Double bottom, green candle kicker on the double bottom. Let's go ahead and look again at the Pro Trader Report and move on down. We have the CAD Swiss right here. This is a level I pointed out on the Canada Swiss, and I don't think the market even made it to that level, actually. Never did. We never made it to that level. Instead, just dropped immediately. So that's not something we really need to look at. Next, we have the Pound New Zealand. This was an interesting pair. The Pound New Zealand actually worked out. And then we placed a trade a little bit late on this pair. So let's actually look at the zone first. Here's the zone. Why am I looking? I was looking at this point right here. Why am I looking at this zone at this point as a possible level of major structure support that could be an accurate zone to look for long opportunities? What would be the reason? Well, the reason is because this level of support has acted as support and resistance multiple times. Remember, think about it like a bully pushing around a kid on the playground, not because that's an okay thing to do at all. Of course it's not. But the reason I want you to think about it like that is because you'll remember, oh shit, the market is being pushed around by this level a lot, three times right here in a row. So because of that, I'm expecting that if the market gets to that level again, 
we see another push. So the market did, in fact, push up from this level. It was about a 270 pip move up, and I expected to get a little more of a bounce out of this level. So the market came down, retested this level, and that's when I decided to enter the trade is after coming down, retesting. Pretty much the same thing as on the hourly, except it happened on the four hour chart. We had our double bottom, green candle, expected this market to head up, at least hitting my target, did not do so, did not cooperate, and I lost that trade. Totally fine, completely normal part of trading is losing trades at times. So after that, we have the Dollar Canada. Let's take a look at the Dollar Canada. I'll give you a little more time here to look at this. As you can see, the market was pushing down into a green zone. I'll go over to that chart now and show you what that looked like actually on the chart on the chart here let's go back out to the daily why am i looking at this area as a level that i think is an accurate place to place long trades the answer to that is quite simple this is an area that has acted as major resistance multiple times if this area has acted as major resistance multiple times if it's been the bully that pushes the little kid around on the playground multiple times, then what's gonna happen when they run into each other again? More than likely, this area is gonna push the market around again. So we get down to our area right in here. And actually, let's go ahead and drop down. In this particular case, I drop down to the four hour instead of the hourly. I do that at times. It just depends on what the market is showing me. So in this particular case, I'm dropped down to the four hour now. We're entering my zone that I'm paying attention to. In the same way, exactly how I just expressed to you that I'm looking at these zones and looking for them, looking for an area of structure that's been tested multiple times in the past. It's been pushed around like it's the bully on the playground. So as we enter this area, we get a nice bounce, nice push up. We get a pullback, waiting, remember, waiting for that double bottom. Here we get the double bottom. We have a retest of our first low. If I zoom in here, it'll be a lot easier to see. First bottom, retest, second bottom, Here's the retest. That's actually the neckline. So now we have the retest. What am I waiting on? I'm just waiting on a green candle. There's my green candle. So now that I have a green candle, I enter because I have a green candle after a double bottom. My stop loss goes below my zone. My target's at a 1.4, in this case a 1.5 to 1 risk reward. Because of this currency pair, it moves a little bit more than most do out of zones of structure. I know that from my back testing. That's why it's important to back test. And if we keep pushing forward, that candle came close to the stop loss, did not stop us out, continue forward, and eventually we hit our targets. And this market since then has went up a little bit more than our target and started to consolidate. Zooming back out to the daily chart, though, the entire reason for placing this trade was because of the fact that the market, the USD Canada, had come down to an area that the market had been pushed around from multiple times in the past. So if that's the case, I expect it to be pushed around from that area once more. And that's exactly what happened on the dollar Canada. Let's move on now, looking at the Aussie dollar, another successful pair here. I don't remember if we actually got a, I didn't place a trade out of this zone though. We may have gotten a double top, but I wasn't looking at the chart at the time. And let me, let me slow down a little bit to help out with anyone who's a beginner or, or semi new. So looking at the Aussie dollar here, you can see that in the report I sent out to all members of the Pro Trader Report and the EAP Training Program. By the way, if you want access to these reports, they are included in the EAP Training Program. I will put that as the top link in the description. So if you're interested in some more advanced training and you're ready to invest in your future as a Forex trader, click that button and it would be a pleasure to have you aboard. Otherwise, let's continue the video. The Aussie dollar here, I was saying that we have a nice level of structure resistance. Why is it a nice level of structure resistance? Well, we zoom out to a daily chart and we remember exactly what we've been discussing this entire time. We are looking for areas in the market that have pushed the market around like a bully on the playground. Has this area done that? Well, we have a huge push down from this area, a huge push down from this area. So now that this market's coming back in to this area, now that the, the little kid is running into the bully again on the playground, do you think that the, mar the market's gonna push this area down again, push this market down again from this area? Yes, that's likely. It's not a fact. It's not 100%. Nothing is. But it gives a higher likelihood that the market will push the push down from this area if it's been pushed down from this area multiple times in the past. So with that being the case, that's the zone we were looking at. Let's drop down to the hourly. 
we actually did we get an entry here and the entry reason I discussed does not have to be your entry you can test multiple entries uh, of your liking if you already have an entry that you use go ahead and test that like for instance here on the four hour there's a nice shooting star candle in this area there's two of them actually so that may be something you decide to use as an entry instead of using the double top uh, red candle kicker after the double top in these zones now let's go ahead and finish up on this pro trader report pound dollar we've already looked at euro dollar did not get to our zone so on the euro dollar we got really close on the daily chart here we got right at our zone we were pushing up to it and got within six pips and then the market fell over so correct about the direction wrong about exactly where it was going to happen that happens sometimes and it is totally fine we saw a little zone here that I was paying attention to for possible long trades ended up losing that trade as well so that was a losing trade for the week now that you know what I'm looking for and the entry reason that I use in these zones and the entry reason that I think you should back test and you should try to incorporate into your trading plan if it's something you want to do let's take a look around the markets now and see what I'm paying attention to going into this coming week it's Friday right now come Monday these are the areas I'm gonna look at for possible trades I'm gonna go into that right now let's go ahead and take a look so because of the fact that this video has already gotten quite long what I'm gonna do is just show you my top five favorite pairs for the upcoming week one of them starting out is going to be the euro dollar what am I paying attention to on the euro dollar I'm paying attention to an area right in here between 1.1031 and 1.0966 why am I paying attention to this area what is my reasoning for thinking that this area could be an accurate place to place long trades the reason is because did this market get pushed around from this area multiple times yes right the market did so with that being the case when the market runs into this area again is it going to push the market around well nobody really knows I don't have a crystal ball in front of me but I know that I have a likelihood a high likelihood of if the market gets in this area and produces an entry reason like a double bottom with a green candle kicker winning then I will be I will have an edge of the market by placing that trade again don't go out and start trading this that's not what I'm saying test it for yourself build a trading plan around it but that's what I know so for me if the euro dollar next week pulls down into this zone I will be looking for possible entry reasons to the upside from this area let's move on to the pound dollar one of my other favorites here we have the pound dollar and if I zoom the chart out I want you to look at the chart and tell me where would you or why would I excuse me why would I have this green zone as an accurate place to place buy trades the reason is because did this market get pushed around from this zone multiple times yes so if this market gets back to that area is it likely that this market will be pushed around by this area again even if it's a small push up on a one hour chart a small push up like this that we're looking at would give me targets achieved it would it would achieve my targets so that's perfectly fine but I do expect there to be some kind of push up from this area if the pound dollar gets to it next week so that's the pound dollar and what I'm looking at on this pair next up we're gonna take a look at the Aussie dollar another one of my favorites why is this one of my favorites why is this green area I know it may be hard to see with these red and green lines vertical on the screen but that's just back testing results so just bear with me here on this why is this an area that I'm looking for for possible long trades well if we look back did the market push this did the market get pushed around by this area in the past yes multiple times right so that makes this area a place that if the market reaches it again a place that's likely to get another push out of this market and that's why if the Aussie dollar pulls down into this area between 0 0.6739 and 0 0.6653 the upcoming week next week I'll be looking for possible long trades out of this area on lower time frames like the one hour chart next we have the Aussie Canada I like this because I can bracket this market what I mean by bracketed is I have a very important level of support that used to be resistance it now should turn into support for this market this is going to be my favorite level and the reason is we're in an uptrend here on the Aussie Canada so if we get a pullback into 0 0.9181 or 0 point in between that and 0 0.9112 you better believe that I'm going to be looking in that zone for possible long trades considering 
this is one of my favorite ways to trade. This is in trend and at a level of structure that's been tested and pushed in the market has been pushed around by multiple times. So in this area is a very likely area that we could see a push up out of the all Z Canada. And that's what I'll be looking for next week in the case that we don't make it back down to this area. Has this red zone been pushed around by the market multiple times? Yes, it has. So with that being the case, this red zone, if we don't come back down into this green zone, or even if we do and we get a push up, this will be my next counter trend zone. It'll be the zone I'm looking at for possible short trades out of the Aussie Canada. Our final pair we're going to take a look at is the Pound Canada. This is another one of my favorites. Tell me why. See if you can spot out why I see this as a possible area to place buy trades and why I think it will be an accurate area to place buy trades. The reason is because this market has been pushed around by this area multiple times. So if the market runs into this area, just like if you run into the bully on the playground, the market is likely to be pushed around by that area once more, which is the reason that if the pound Canada comes into the area of structure between 1.6672 and 1.6553, I personally will be looking for possible long trades out of that area. So if you enjoyed this content and if you want to receive the pro trader report that looks just like this each and every week showing you the zones that I'm paying attention to for possible trading opportunities along with a full training course. I'll put some testimonials on the screen of other traders just like you who have been through the pro trader report or the EAP training program. Both of them are listed below. The pro trader report does come with the EAP training program along with a full course priority email. If you have any questions, it'll be me you're talking to directly and I'll get back to you as fast as possible along with three to five email analysis each and every week, which are actual trades with entries, stops, and targets that I'm placing based on the strategies you learn in the full course. If that's interesting to you, first link in the description is the EAP training program. If not, that is totally fine. Make sure you keep it locked here on our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell because we come out with free content like this each and every week. I hope you have a green rest of your week. I hope you have a green week next week. Go back test this strategy. See if it's something you want to put in your trading plan and I'll see you next week.